Hey guys, Mark here. So I was at Best Buy recently looking for a small travel monitor to take with me on an upcoming trip, and I happened upon this little guy, the LG 22MK430. This could actually be the best cheap monitor I've ever had my hands on. Let's take a look. At first glance, this monitor doesn't look like much of anything special. It's got pretty thick bezels around a fairly small 21.5 inch display. The stand is removable but not vertically adjustable and the whole thing feels a little cheap with plastic construction. But that's where the downsides of this display stop and the fun begins. The reason the stand is removable is because this tiny monitor is actually VESA 75x75 compatible, meaning you can mount it to a wall mount or other desk mount. This is pretty uncommon on budget monitors, so it's a nice inclusion. The stand being removable also means that I can tuck it inside an airplane carry-on very easily, which is perfect for travel. The power button, volume, and rest of the OSD is controlled by a single joystick underneath the front of the monitor. This is common on newer LG displays like my LG UD68 4K monitor. I really like this and it feels very natural. After using it, I don't want to go back to the side-mounted buttons on other monitors. On the back of the monitor, we have a HDMI port, headphone jack, VGA port, and the power port for the tiny power supply. Let's talk about the panel itself, which is the star of the show. For only 100 US dollars, you get a 21.5 inch 1080p IPS display that runs at 75 hertz and has AMD FreeSync. There are very few monitors available on the market that even come close to having those kinds of specs in the 100 to even $200 range. At first glance, the colors and viewing angles are excellent, which is fairly common for an IPS panel. Seated on my desk next to my 4K LG display, the panels actually look very similar. Considering the 4K panel was about five times as expensive, this is pretty impressive. The LG 22 MK430 covers about 99% of the sRGB spectrum, which isn't bad at all if you're doing some light editing work that will be exported to the web, i.e. YouTube, Facebook, etc. It'll work just fine. Clearly, LG's goal here was to provide customers with a very affordable monitor that could be easily used for gaming. Considering this monitor will allow you to run your games at 75 frames per second and has FreeSync enabled, they did pretty good. It does fall a little behind on the response time though, coming in at around 5 milliseconds GTG or gray to gray. Definitely not the best, but considering the price, very acceptable. I didn't notice any ghosting during games, even with faster paced shooters like Overwatch. This monitor is very new, so new that the only reseller I could find was Best Buy. But if I find it on Amazon in the future, I'll put a link in the description below. LG also has a slightly larger 24 inch version of this monitor available for a slightly higher price if that's something you're interested in as well. Overall, I really think that LG knocked it out of the park with this little guy. If you have a budget gaming system and you're looking for a decent but cheap gaming monitor, especially if you have an AMD GPU, this is probably your best bet. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to show your support. And if you didn't, let me know why in a comment below. I love hearing your feedback. Thanks for watching and have a great day.